I'm gonna show you how to get research parts in Dredge, that fishing game that came out. So you need research parts, obviously in order to do research. You're gonna need a lot of them in order to get everything. Now, most of the ways that you can get research parts are not renewable, but there is a way to get infinite number of research parts in return for money. Uh, so the way to get infinite parts, and we'll talk about the other ways in just a sec, but the, the way to buy as many parts as you want is you can actually go down here to the dusty pontoon at Gale Cliffs. It's this place right here. You'll know you're in the right spot when you see all this in these three different places. You'll go here as part of the main story eventually. You come to this place, and it's a, it's not that common, but sometimes you go here in the shipyard. Uh, this person, you go to this tab, and they'll have a research part for sale for $315. Now, they don't always have this. It's actually pretty rare, but I've already bought two, and this is the third one I've seen. And I haven't tested this, but I, you could try saving and quitting over and over again. Uh, and see if then eventually it loads every time we do this it refreshes their stock um, I I know I did this ten times in a row and it didn't do it But I left and came back and it was here and I've, I've had you know varying luck depending on what method I use in order to do it uh, But at a minimum just sail over here every once in a while and check at least do that if you're trying to get them uh, And you can just slowly get extra research parts Theoretically an infinite number of research parts from this, but that's not the only way to get research parts So there are a bunch of other ways to get research parts sometimes from quests some, sometimes quests will give them to you um, And then sometimes you'll be able to find them as actual Spots like even though this is a fish right here for example you know, you sometimes you see you know You probably have it with the dredge where you can get wood and you can get metal parts and all that Sometimes you'll see them and it'll actually just be research parts and it'll just be one or maybe two but Usually it's one and you'll, you know, use a dredge and you'll get it just like you would the wood or the metal parts. And then another thing is, when you're going to one of these spots that has metal or has wood, um, sometimes, and this is a one-time only thing as far as I'm aware, sometimes when you go to a new spot and the very first time you ever get metal or wood or whatever from there, uh, it'll randomly give you one research part during that. So if you've seen a spot, you see a spot of metal or wood or, um, cloth, and you've never picked that exact spot up before, Always pick it up and pick all of it up, even if you also need to throw it on the ground afterward or discard it afterwards, because there's a, a chance it can just have a research part as one of its drops. And that'll just be a one-time thing only, but that's like one of the ways to get research parts in this game and eventually get everything done and research. Now, those are the ways that I'm aware of. If there's another way, I actually didn't realize there was another way if there's beyond that, and I've pretty much beaten the game. Um, but that is uh, the ways to get research parts. And again, this person's shop, who, this person's shop will also be... You know, any of these pontoons, you go to one of these islands, and uh, there'll be the pontoon, and you go there, and there's just a chance for a research part, basically. So those are the ways to get research parts mid-game through early game. Uh, so hopefully that's out. Now you know how to get research parts in Dredge.